One in 25 people have had a near-death experience, according to the research from our next guest. So when someone escapes death and tells their story, they may hold remarkable clues that can possibly teach us about a life to come. Pastor John Burke is the author of Imagine Heaven, Near-Death Experiences, God Pro God's Promises, and the Exhilarating Future That Awaits You. He's also the founder and lead pastor of Gateway Church in Austin, Texas. John, good to see you. Thanks for having me. So near-death experiences, you believe in them now. You yes. studied over a thousand cases of them. Yes. You didn't used to be a religious man, but then became one. Explain that to us. Well, when my dad was dying of cancer, um, someone gave him the first book on near-death experiences, Life After Life. And I picked it up one night, and I read it cover to cover. And after reading, I thought, oh my gosh, like... If this is true, this is the most important thing I could possibly find out about. What were the commonalities you heard in the stories? Yeah, in Imagine Heaven, I write about 12 commonalities, like uh, we, we're ourselves. We have uh, a body, and, and in, but they talk about how we don't just have five senses. It's like we have 50 senses. Do we look the way we looked when we died, or do yeah. we look the way we looked at our favorite age? How do we look? Well, that's an interesting question, because people say a little bit different things, and I have my own theory I come up with in the book, but people basically say we're in our prime, and you recognize each other, and they see beauty, not unlike Earth, mountains and trees and you know gorgeous flowers, but they experience it in other dimensions of time and space. Is there, a, is there a peace? Oh, it's unbelievable. People talk about, well, many people talk about being in the presence of this man of light that they know to be God, and in his presence, they never want to leave. They, what, what people always say is, I felt like I was home. I okay, feel like that's where I but belong. But you know the skeptics say, this is all BS. Oh, absolutely. And this is people who are having maybe pre-death experiences, yeah. and they're, they're connoting something that they've heard on television or read in a yeah. book. Well, and I was an engineer before a pastor, so I have a very analytical mind, and I ask a lot of the same questions. And I've interviewed doctors uh, who have had these experiences, and I write in, in chapter two about skeptical doctors in the afterlife, what it was that convinced so many cardiologists and oncologists that these are actually showing us some picture of what's to come. Is there anything that jumps out at you as most persuasive? Well, I, there, there are a lot of accounts, but like, for instance, there was um, an article written in The Lancet, a prestigious medical journal, about a man who came in, cardiac arrest in the hospital, um, his dentures were taken out, he was unconscious, they did CPR, he was unconscious for a whole week, moved to another room. When he comes to, he tells them where his dentures were, that they were put in this crash cart in this other room. He couldn't have possibly seen that, except he said he left his body, he witnessed what had happened. And but can't there be, you know, the hearing is still there, and something is seeping into the computer that is your yeah. brain. And I, and I talk about accounts like that, Pam Reynolds, uh, where she, I can't go into all of it, but she had clickers in her ears, her eyes were taped shut, no brain waves, no heart, no heartbeat, and yet she saw exactly what was going on and described the the saw they were using to operate on her brain and it doesn't wow. look anything like a saw wow but she described it in detail you know that book life after life i can say this really helped my mom after my dad died back in nineteen eighty five and i know it helped you and was the beginnings of this it is called imagine heaven by john burke thank you for being here oh thanks for having me here let's hope you're right